this movie made me a Tom Hanks fan for life. And this scene just makes me smile every time I watch it. So we're good. today we're going to paint the piano scene from Big. So before I talk too much about the movie, I'm going to just talk about this painting real quick. Uh, as you can see, the scene has a lot of people in it and I am new to watercolor. The whole point of me doing these um, movie scenes is so I can learn watercolor while I do them. And I knew that <laughs> going into this, this was not the best idea to start so early in my learning process to have this many people, but I thought, why not just go for it? So the background is going to be pretty uh, simple, and given that there's tons of people, I, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm not going into much detail when it comes to that. Big was released in 1988, starring Tom Hanks, Elizabeth Perkins, um, Robert Logia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It might be Logia. I, I, we're gonna call him Robert L. And John Hurd. And I don't really remember a time not watching this movie. I was I was pretty young when it came out, but it was such a part of my childhood growing up, and I watched it all the time. I think the reason why I liked it so much as a kid is that is it is feels like a kid fantasy to be able to be a grown up and do whatever you want, and but you still get to get away with things like play with toys all the time, and that's obviously not real life in most people's cases. But is it was such a fun thing to imagine for ourselves, and and Tom Hanks just embodies this character so well that he's really relatable not only to adults but also to kids. Fun fact about this movie is, it, is this was Tom Hanks first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor which I, I thought was really cool that it was a comedic role that got him that, that um, nomination. You don't see that very often anymore it's like it's very it's always dramatic roles that'll get people nominations, but especially Tom Hanks, since that's primarily what he plays now, or dramatic roles, even if they're kind of, they could be funny at the same time. I also think that this movie also is a testament to how good Tom Hanks is at um, using the younger actor that he is portraying to make his role even better. Because I don't know if anyone knows about when he did um, Forrest Gump, the kid that played young Forrest, um, he basically modeled his the the Forrest Gump voice and accent after this kid, and so this kid gets to basically act freely, and Tom Hanks models after models the character after the kid's own character, and he did the same thing with this movie. Um, and the young kid was played by David Moscow. So he modeled his own mannerisms and Josh's own mannerisms after the way David Moscow played him as a 13 year old kid. But I want to talk about this scene in particular because the reason why I'm painting these movie scenes is because these are memorable scenes, these are their, uh, their classics for a reason, these are movie scenes that you think of when you think of specific movies, so you think of Big, you think of the piano scene when he's in the toy store and he runs into his now boss, um, played by Robert, Robert L. <laughs> McMill <laughs> McMillan, I believe the last name is, that's the name of the toy company, and they come across this big keyboard and Josh starts to play and McMillan enjoys him.
You can see that in the painting, what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure that that even though I'm going really basic in the background and not putting in a lot of details, that you can still tell that there's individual people and maybe even what relationships they are with other people with them. Like you see a father and daughter right there. You can see a, a probably it looks like a bigger brother holding a younger brother's hand. And I wanted the individuality to still be there but I didn't want them to be focused and I didn't want them and of course I this painting's tiny so these people are all really tiny <laughs> so just to make it easier for me uh, not only that they're not the focus because I want the main characters to be the main characters in the scene that they're not pulling away from that let me tell you my absolutely favorite part of this scene is actually watching um, Robert L. <laughs> uh, for, do this piano scene. He's in his late fifties, early. No, he's. I think he's pretty. Sh pretty sure he was like later, younger than sixty, but over fifty-five when he filmed this scene. And power to him because I would be dying. I would not be able to do this. <laughs> not just because I don't know how to play the piano or that's like I played a little bit but not much. But this looks exhausting. <laughs> but when he's playing it you can hear the joy. You can hear him giggling and he's singing along to the song that they're playing. It's it's so infectious and to not feel his joy. <laughs> And I think that's great writing for his character because he's the boss. He's the one who runs this company. He probably even started the company. I don't know for sure. Um, but of course he runs a toy store. Look how joyful he is. He, you can tell he loves doing what he does. And maybe that Josh is there to remind him of what joy it is just to play. I think the scene really starts, it's, it's the pivot scene for Josh's career <laughs> in this company because um, McMillan is reminded of that, oh, this is fun, you're fun, what else can you bring to the table that all my boring executives do not bring to the table? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to start on the main characters. Uh, Tom thinks first, we're just going to basically do the simple color blocking of paint and try not to mess anything up. And I love drawing fabrics. I like drawing like the way uh, the folds fall. And so because he's wearing the jacket and the pants and the sweater and there's all this texture, it was a lot of fun to kind of figure out how to make it look good while I'm painting it instead of just in a drawing mode, which I usually use. I usually just do um, pastel or you know, so I usually use pastel, graphite, charcoal to draw, but so painting is still new to me. So it was nice to be able to kind of work with making it look rich and uh, not necessarily rich, but giving it a little more depth with the shadows and the, the creases and the way everything's, everything hangs on them. So there was a jump there because my my camera stopped filming and I'm also filming at a this is probably the next day I'm pretty sure this is the next day when I start finishing this painting I had to get really close I changed the angle of the of my painting on my canvas so I can kind of get really close and get little details here and there especially on their faces because after the first day I was a little frustrated that I wasn't not really frustrated, but afraid I wasn't able to do it.
And painting these faces was gonna, was making me nervous because one, they're super tiny. If you're looking, like they're half the they're like the size of my pinky. Um, so, <laughs> and getting up close is the only thing I could think to do with my tiny paintbrush. I'm like, okay, I just gotta do this one mark at a time and see if I can do this. And even though the paint doesn't have a whole lot of details, especially in their faces, I wanted to make sure I got the joy and the happiness that they were feeling in this moment to come across, even if it was, even if you're viewing it from a little further away than right up close like I was. The paint that jacket, that jacket was so much fun to paint. I just loved, loved doing it. It was so, it was so fun. Like I said before, I wanted to make sure that these two main figures stood out from the rest of the from the rest of the background. So I am doing a lot more detail on here. I'm wanting to make sure that they're really a lot more sharp in contrast with everything else. So when you look at it, your eyes immediately go to to Robert L. and, and Tom Hanks. I would love to hear everyone's thoughts in the comments about this movie scene and what you think of it. Have you even seen this movie? If you have, did you grow up with it or did you watch it recently? And was this scene something that is memorable to you? Because maybe I'm fooling myself and thinking that this is a classic scene, but I really do find it to be something unforgettable. And do you know how to play the songs that they were playing? Or were they playing like um, Chopsticks? What was the other? I don't know what the other song would even was because that's how little I know about the piano. <laughs> What's it called? Heart and Soul? I, I really don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> A random thing I always think of um, because of this movie. Whenever I hear this song, The Way We Were, 
Barbara Streisand, Robert Redford, the way we were, I don't think of that movie. I think of this movie when Tom Hanks <laughs> has to sing it to his mother over the phone to prove that Josh is okay. So every time I hear that song, I think of memory on the corner of the mind. <laughs> Tom Hanks sings that song to her. It kills me. And so sorry to all those who love the way they were or the way we were. This is what I think of. <laughs> As we're wrapping up on this painting here, I just want to thank you for watching and be sure to hit subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, um, your favorite Tom Hanks movie, or your favorite scene in this movie if it's not this one. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I would also like to hear any suggestions of movie scenes that you would like to see painted and um, want to talk about. I do it? Did I get that joy on Robert L's face? I hope so. <laughs> I am pretty proud of this painting. I am surprised at how well it went it went because I was very nervous about it. It's that huge crowd in the background. But I do like how the characters are standing out, how the background is still the characters and all those the people watching, all those extras, but they're not distracting, but they are adding to the joy of the scene. And make sure I catch the glow of the piano keys being hit. I did put a mask on there that I had taken off. You can see what, what door their feet are. Tape peel. So satisfying. It is more satisfying to do in real life than it is to watch, but. <laughs> And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>